Hi everyone! In this video I want to take a closer look at the control settings and the key bindings in out of or and especially how you use the control settings to customize your own controls. For this I have chosen to go as an example with the tr dumper truck and I will set up um, the controls or how to raise and lower the truck bed. So without further ado, let's move over to the main menu and into the controls. As you already probably know, when you enter the controls you will land here, you will have an explanation inside the controls itself and we will find this also when we go into the controls for each type. So as, as said, we will want to do the truck bed as an example. So I go to truck dumper, truck bed, and you already see here probably that I've already customized my controls. Um, we will delete this and reset to default and clear all controls, so uh, you know that too. But first let's uh, take a look at the general layout of the control settings in Out of All. Um, you have these four main buttons in each section, uh, which is mouse, keyboard, gamepad, game controller and joystick or analog axis as one can call it. Um, and if you click those you see like here green highlighted or here you see which controls are currently set. So at the moment what I've done is I have mapped my right thumbstick analog axis to the truck bed and this is how we will set up this again after we kill everything here. So if you go in each of those, you know, you get shown what is currently set. Over here, what we have is two buttons um, and these buttons represent the control modes you have for each vehicle, the driving mode and the construction mode. And depending on if these are highlighted or not, the controls you have set here work in either both modes this is when both are white or both are green or they only work in one mode. This is when only one mode is green and then they work in the mode that is green here. So if I set this green, this input will only work in the driving mode and no longer in the construction mode. If I make it like this, it will work in the construction mode and not in the driving mode. If it is like this, it works in both and if it's like that, it also works in both. The middle section here shows you the input you actually have set. Like here, this is the name of the axis that is currently mapped. Here is nothing. This is up down key and this is left mouse button to the direction. Um, for the mouse, it's always like this. Uh, if you set the green highlighted thing over here will work together with the movement highlighted here. So here the left mouse button is highlighted green and here the direction up down is highlighted green. So mouse input will work clicking left mouse button and moving mouse up down. If I change this to this, then it will be left mouse button and um, moving mouse left right. But we will reset this. In the lower section you will have an overview of if the inputs you set actually reach um, the game. So like this is now I'm hitting the up down keys and you immediately see it's always full input so on, on, on and off. And if I move the axis, which I do now here, you see the X, the input is an analog input, so it's much more controllable. I can go like this a little, a little more halfway, th three quarter way and full input. Um, for the axis, we also have the settings of sensibility, which means uh, how quickly the axis and how intense the axis will 
react to an input or the game actually reacts to an access input and on the other side the dead zone so when the input starts to be registered by the game and in the middle we have invert the axis which is now you see now it is if I move it now down the sum stick it will go to the minus if I revert if I set it back it will go to the plus so these are the controls one thing you especially for the gamepad users out there we will show after we have reset everything um, over here you have two additional buttons which are important when you are setting up the controls one is clear and one is reset to default we will first take a look at the clear button the clear button will clear the input that is here so hitting clear kills my axis and if I move the thumbstick no longer anything will happen but you need to remember clear will only clear the controls you have selected here so this is the axis the keyboard input is still there so clearing does not kill all inputs only the input selected here like if I now select the mouse this clears the mouse keyboard is still there keyboard still working so if I also want to clear the keyboard I have to clear this too so if you want to have a completely blank input you actually need to hit each of these and hit clear each time so now we have a completely cleared uh, input and for setting it up I will go to reset to default so resetting to default you saw the dead zone changes there's no axis but the input has reverted to default explains itself and now we can before we reset and remap the function to the axis there's some one specific thing about game controllers game pads you see now here the control is mapped by default to my right thumbstick up and down and you might wonder why the heck does he want to remap it to an axis if it's already mapped to the thumbstick and the, uh, the reason for this is if a thumbstick on a controller is mapped here it is at least on my system it works like a button and not like an axis so if I now move you see it here if I now move the thumbstick it is the same on off non or full input as it is when using the keyboard which I do now so and this is something I want to change because I want to have more control over raising and lowering my bed so what do I do first thing is I clear this then I move over here I hit this middle section which then allows me to map the axis and then I move the axis and you immediately see the axis movement down below and here again we have an input that I can control and which is no longer on off and what I additionally will do is I will raise the dead zone a little bit just because you know some sticks on a gamepad are not really uh, precise and don't have huge uh, <laughs> movement ways long movement ways so I want to have it that it kicks in a little later so not every side movement will trigger the up down now I hit save um, and basically now it's set one thing I can demonstrate we will just hop into the dumper uh, in a second one thing I can demonstrate on another vehicle what I did is on the excavator for instance as you can see here on all excavator movements for working the excavator I actually have reduced the sensibility and if you look at the input here what this does is uh, in my case it limits the maximum input I get and why did I do that because um, I want to have a lot more control about how quickly 
and how gently I can use the excavator in every direction basically and I do not really need full input and here again because I'm a gamepad user uh, and the ways on the thumbsticks are pretty small compared to a regular joystick I've decided to limit the maximum input so that in a sense uh, the way I have gets stretched and allows me a little bit more control down here so this is just a personal thing you might want to um, try this out um, and then we have a final do we have a final thing no I, I think I've covered it up pretty much um, so now we will go back to the dumper and we will try out our newly reset function which is right thumbstick up and down and we will hop back in here and I just quickly demonstrate how these uh, will work in the practice so save exit jump into the dumper take a look over here and ooh, it goes up and down fast and very slowly as you can probably see and now going faster 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 fast so this works getting back into the controls we will now just see what else we have we have the up down we'll take that keep that in mind and now on the axis we will limit the axis to the construction mode just for demonstration purposes so we leave this again and as you can see in the bottom right corner we are in driving mode now and if I move my right thumbstick nothing will happen but we can try if the keyboard uh, works still oh no I the keyboard works but the keyboard is also limited to construction mode at the moment so a little uh, mess up by me but you can see here now I'm using the keyboard and I cannot control the speed it is just full or none and now I'm using the stick again and you see I can control the speed going back oops to driving mode no input reaction so getting back into this setting this to both again save it because I want to have this function work in both modes it's saved we leave and now yes it works so wonderfully we have set up the, the dumper bed as I wanted to do and with that we are at the end of this little tutorial on how to customize the controls and how the control cell uh, setup section of out of or works and is designed i hope you find this video helpful happy mining folks happy gaming bye bye and see us